This is Anøya Space Center in the north of Norway. For the Nucleus team, a small band of engineers, scientists and technicians. Oh, so nice. It's also the gateway to space. For more than a decade, NAMO has been working to get a very different concept, a hybrid rocket, up to an altitude of more than 100 kilometers. If successful, it will be the first of its kind to reach space. Future versions can be scaled up to carry payload, for example, small satellites. The story about the Nucleus rocket isn't just about the launch. It's also about the many challenges facing this team. Exciting. Actually, this is the last test we ever need to do. Just raise the rocket, check all the actuators are working when the rail is in race position. Basically, this is just the beginning for us. And this is the first rocket. It's a demonstrator, technology demonstrator. It's just a 9 meter long, 800 kilo, but it has all the building blocks that will be further needed for micro launcher system here. If all goes well, the rocket will take off, start to rotate and burn for about 40 seconds, until it reaches an altitude of at least 100 kilometers. That's the commonly recognized border of space. And so it's the same concept that's now nucleus that will then be upscaled for bigger engines and enable to power and propel the small satellites into orbit. In the months before the planned launch, engineers and technicians are working on two things, testing and assembly of the Nucleus rocket. Okay, and this but one, these ones come here. Yeah, we have the green connector here that yeah. he added. Well, Very smart, the idea that he found for fixing the cables. Adrian, Bastian and Martina are three core members of the team that hopes to reach space. The rocket concept here is very unusual. While the fuel is solid, the oxidizer is a liquid. Hence, the hybrid designation. Rockets powered by this have never reached space before. Basically, we use uh, two chemicals. On the one side, we have liquid hydrogen peroxide. On the other, we use a rubber type of solid fuel. And this I brought together in the combustion chamber, combust, and crea create then uh, this uh, high pressure and temperature in the chamber. And this energy is transformed into kinetic energy that is then pro propelling the rocket forward. Through hundreds of tests over the years, the rocket motor has seen gradual development. Several variants and sizes have been tried out, including a smaller and somewhat similar rocket built in 2007. By 2018, the Nucleus team had settled on a final concept. Uh, today we will run uh, the last test of our ground test campaign for the Nucleus uh, sounding rocket. Uh, we are now uh, having the complete system uh, on the bench uh, from all the flight components of the rocket, including the propulsion system, the electronics, but we've also used all the controls and procedures how we do as the launch side. So we are very excited to test everything and show we are ready for launch. Yep. Sorry guys. So uh, here's the control room. We are working now on pressurizing the helium tank. We need to get to 350 bar for it to be ready for performing the test. So we are now at 333 bar, almost there. 
So we're getting quite excited as uh, time goes forward. The rocket valves and tubing are under immense pressure at this stage. It's a critical moment, but Martina is about to make an unpleasant discovery. We are clear for uh, for warming. Something is clearly wrong in the test bunker. Oi! Hydrogen peroxide has been leaking onto the floor. Within seconds, Martina activates a high pressure drainage system to flush away the liquid from the site. Sprinklers are turned on as well. The crew have trained for situations like this and safety protocols are in place. Afterwards, the whole area is hosed, just in case. A simple gasket stopped the show today, but the team is soon ready for another test firing. Det var en packning mellan två flenser som gick lek, och då sprutade det ut H2O2 med ett tryck på cirka 70 bar som var då fångat in ett dexel som vi hade runt utstyret varis. But this is also why the team is working on thorough tests for years. In a way, every malfunction discovered and eliminated here is good news. It means there is one less thing that could occur on launch day. As you will see in the next episode, that can be absolutely critical.